Um, so we'll start with Brighton and Newcastle in their last seven Premier League away games. How important is it that you continue this impressive run against Newcastle on Sunday? Well, yeah. I mean, we've um, we've been doing okay away from home, like you say. Um, it's a new season, so we have to start again. But um, it's important for us to try to get, of course, a result because um, we're disappointed after after Monday night, and we want to, you know, we want to try and um, put that disappointment to to one side and, and and get some a positive result. So we'll 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 do our best. We're obviously playing against a team that's got confidence after a after a win, so we know it's not going to be easy. But no game is, so we just have to try. You played a couple of games so far, obviously a big boost after last night. Um, Newcastle is going to be your first trip on the road. What have you learnt about your side and about what areas need to improve? Well, I've learned, I wouldn't say learn, but I knew that the spirit is good. The attitude is really good. Um, there's a togetherness and there's a um, an understanding that's developed over, over time. Um, I think the performance against Chelsea was was good in many areas, and and then followed up last night with with a, a team that you know lots of changes, but still a good understanding of what we're trying to do. Um, so that indicates that as a group we're in a good place. But um, you know, like we always say, you need you need to get some points, and that's what we try to do on on um, on Sunday. Um, we're always looking to improve in all the areas because that's our job. But um, that's also normal. We'll um, we'll go to Newcastle expecting a really tough game, and and we'll do our best. And looking ahead, then, in your opinion, what would constitute a good season for Brighton? Oof, um, I've not really thought too much about the, the season in its entirety. I, th- I think always you're looking to try to improve. That's what you're trying to do. Um, and you know, last year we, we we finished with 41 points and wherever that was in the table. Um, so we want to try and improve on that, of course. Um, but the way you do that is just to focus on the next match. Um, there's no point uh, setting speaking about what might happen in the end of May. With a long time to go and a lot of football to play, and keep it nice and simple. Focus on the next game, which is Newcastle, and try to win that game. Graham, thank you very much. Cheers. Hi, Graham. It's Mark from Sky Sports. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Morning. Um, obviously, Adam Alana was was a huge signing for you, um, and you saw some of his quality early in that Chelsea game. You mentioned you'd hoped he'd be back in training at the back end of this week after a little series of cramps and things, and, and coming off early. What's the latest with him, and can you expect him to be involved this weekend? Yeah, he's going to join the group today for training. Um, so that's really positive. The initial concerns it wasn't as bad as we thought, so that's good. I think it's uh, it's understandable when, when you consider Adam's um, history, but he's um, he's been great since he's been in with us, and um, we're we're delighted to have him, and we need to try and help him, you know, be on the pitch as much as possible. Um, we'll make a decision about 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 that, you know, as as late as we can to give him the time. So um, that probably decision won't be made until um, I would say Saturday, in terms of how how much involvement he has in the game. But he's got a chance here. Yeah. And in terms of Ben White and, and Dale Stevens, who, who took a knock, are, are they going to be back in training? Are they available for this weekend, or are they perhaps a bit more longer term? No, Ben. Ben, I think will 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 take part in the, the training today. So that's good. Again, we'll see how we respond to that. It's a bit a bit like Adam. Got a chance for for Newcastle, but um, at the moment a little bit too early to to say for definite. And um, Dale just more precautionary than anything. It was we were four 0 up, and you know less than ten minutes to go, and he was just feeling a bit of tightness. So uh, rather than stay on, we, we we decided to 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 pull him off, and um, I expect him to be recovering today and and tomorrow, and then and then been available for for the weekend. Graham, we're. 17 days away from uh, the transfer window closing. How close are you to perhaps getting in a new face? We know you're keen on a striker and potentially a left-back. Are you getting closer at all? 
well, I, I don't know where that's come from in terms of what I'm keen on. Um, I'm keen to try to improve the group that we've got, and that that means working with the players that we have. That's my always. I've always said that's made my main focus. Um, a football club at any in any window has got to look for the the possibility to try to improve. But um, you, you know, we've been through quite some uh, tough economic challenges recently, and I'm, I'm not sure we're, we're out the woods yet. So. We have to be responsible in terms of what we're doing um, and that influences, of course, some of our decision making. But at the same time, um, we'll always be looking, but nothing to report. And um, like I said, the, the biggest focus is improving the players that we have because we've got a really good bunch here. We've got a really good group, a group that want to improve, a group that want to learn and get better. And that's uh, fantastic for me. In terms of the striking position, obviously you are perhaps a little light up front uh, in terms of in terms of strikers. If you weren't to get in a striker, would you be happy with what you've got at your disposal at the moment? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. This weekend could see fans back into games for the first time in the EFL uh, and, and Premier League with test events happening. How nice is it to see up to a thousand fans uh, coming into matches? It's obviously not a great number, but it's the start of a process, isn't it? No, it is. Yeah, I mean, we had we had a, a test event ourselves in 2000, and it was actually really nice. Um, they 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 got into the game. It was such a nice feeling to have people at the ground. Um, you'd be surprised how much noise they can make. I'm sure it would be the the, the same um, in, in in at the weekend. So really good news. Something that we're obviously keen to have ourselves, and we'll do our best in in in, in of course in line with the the government's guidelines. And, and just finally, from me, obviously a huge story in the in the in the world of football. Gareth Bale uh, coming back to the Premier League. He's on the verge of joining Tottenham, a player that's won the La Liga and, and four Champions Leagues. How nice would it be to to see him in the Premier League and to test yourselves and your players against players of that quality? Oh, it's really exciting uh, for the Premier League. I, I, I presume it is definitely. Um, he's a top player, like you say, with great experience. He'll bring. Um, you know, star quality to the league and and um, we're looking forward to, to playing against him. Thanks, Graham. Cheers. Hi there, Graham. Johnny here. Hi, Johnny. Um, I know we talked about a club that had spent rather a lot of money in your opening fixture, but uh, Newcastle have splashed the cash a little bit as well. What have you made of the business that they've done in this transfer window? Uh, very good. Um, They've uh, improved the squad. I mean, the, the weekend they were impressive. They've got Joel Linton and Fraser and Almiron on the bench. So, just goes to show the, the firepower that they have. And Steve's invested well and, and done well with with adding to the to the to the squad. Um, so they're going to be really strong. Uh, I, I, they, they've also got players that have been there a while that I think have, have, have are, look, are looking good. Andy Carroll at the weekend looked really good. Um, John Joe Shelby as well. So they've got players that are. That have been there a while and and are at a good level, and, and at the same time they've added with some good experience and and good quality. With Carroll starting, if he does play alongside Wilson again, what sort of test are you expecting defensively? Well, he's. I think everybody knows what Andy Carroll brings to the to the to the game and to the team. And uh, like I said, I was really impressed with with him against West Ham. They used him well and. Obviously, physically, he's very strong. Um, aerially, he's very strong. Uh, but at the same time, you know, gets hold of it well and links up the play. So, him and Wilson are going to be a, a strong partnership, I'm pretty sure. And then they've got good options from the bench. Some Maxim that can come on, that it can provide something from the from the wide areas as well. Is really dangerous. So they've got a lots of attacking options. I know you spoke last night about the youngsters coming through and your attacking options in the League Cup, but how much of a bonus was it to have Davy Proper back and getting game time? He's, you know, he was pretty much an ever-present for you last season. No, exactly. Yeah, great, great, great for us and great for him. Um, he probably needs a little bit more time, but that was his first game for a while. But nice to have him back, and he'll get better and better. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Hi, Graham. How are you? You're Hi, Luke. Yeah, good morning. Um, yeah, you mentioned uh, Adam Lallana might be back in contention this Sunday for the game against Newcastle. Obviously, a big name to come in to the squad this summer. Can you, what can you tell us about the impact he's made so far on the squad and the experience he's brought? 
Oh, he's a quality player, quality person, brings a lot on and off the pitch, wants to help the team, um, wants to support the players that are here. We've got a, you know, a few young players and we're trying to develop an environment here, so he adds to that. And then on the pitch, he's got really good quality, intelligent footballer, um, can play in spaces, can run in behind, uh, keeps the ball well, provides a goal threat. So he's... Um, uh, he's, he's, he's a top guy. Brilliant. And uh, this weekend, obviously, you're going, going away to Newcastle. There were six away wins in the Premier League last weekend. And obviously, there's still there's obviously the test events in the EFL this weekend, but no fans still in the Premier League. Do you think it's a good time to visit Newcastle with no fans at St James's Park? Well, I think it's always difficult to predict. Um, sometimes the home crowd is really with you. Sometimes the home crowd get nervous and then it can be a good time to go away from home it's, you can never predict um, it is what it is you know we, we just have to get on with it it's the same for everybody at the moment and we're all sort of dealing with this situation but ultimately we have to play against Newcastle they've got some good players they've invested well um, they they were worthy winners at West Ham so they'll be strong and 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 it's going to be a difficult game Right. And this week, uh, Tottenham's Eric Dyer told us how the, the busy fixture schedule is really not good for the welfare of players at the moment. We often talk about the player side of things, but how is that for, on the manager and the coaches side of things? Does it take its toll as well or is it sort of like a challenge that you, you relish? Oh, it's it's a, a challenge that we, we relish. It's um, Of course, it's demanding, but it's uh, we're preparing for football. We're preparing for vo football matches. We're very fortunate. Um, you know, we get on with it and we do our best and enjoy the challenge. Great. And finally, for me, last time you, you two sides met uh, Newcastle, it was a nil nil draw. And that was during the restart. And obviously, that was a busy schedule then as well. Probably a bit of fatigue settling in. With this being the new season, you've had a bit of a break. Do you, do you think we can expect more of an eventful game on Sunday? I would hope so. I don't think it could get any less eventful, to be honest with you. That, that last game was um, not, not one for the for the classic album, I would say. Um, and yeah, we, we, we were probably fighting for, for points and Newcastle have got their points. And as you said, it's the end of the season and a lot of games been played. So uh, one to forget, I would imagine. Um, so hopefully it's a better game. I'm pretty sure it will be. Fantastic. Thank you. Cheers.